If you bought a new computer any time after 2008, there is a hidden secret computer with a parallel operating system running inside it. You cannot access this secret computer. You cannot turn it off, disable it or remove it. It is ultimately in control of your device, but you can't control it at all. Everything it does is completely invisible to you, your operating system and your device. This is not a fantasy from a spy thriller. This is Intel Management Engine, a subsystem microprocessor that's operating inside every Intel CPU platform made from 2008 onward. Despite its name and some basic functions, we don't know anything about what Intel Management Engine really does. What we do know is that this microcontroller works completely independently from the main CPU. It can't be manually removed or disabled, even if the main computer is powered off as long as it is plugged into the mains or the battery, IME will continue to run. Intel Management Engine is a computer within a computer. It is running its own operating system called Minix and is installed by default on every modern computer with Intel CPU. This probably makes Minix the most widely used operating system in the world. But unlike Windows, Mac OS or Linux, Minix is completely outside of user control. It cannot be scanned by an antivirus or malware detection software. It can bypass any firewall configuration and has a dedicated network connection that can circumvent the main CPU and the main operating system. Intel Management Engine is so deeply embedded in the motherboard that without it, the main CPU would not boot at all. It has the power to shut down or turn on your computer, has full access to your system hardware, memory, keyboard input and the contents of your display. This means Intel ME can read your open files, access your passwords, bypass encryption, capture your keystrokes and mouse movements and see all running applications. The management engine also runs a number of proprietary programs including digital rights management system which gives Intel control over how, when and what data and software you can access on your system. Nobody knows what's inside of Minix, although it is officially licensed as free software under Berkeley Software Distribution. Intel made secret modifications to the source code of Minix running on the management engine. The level of secrecy about such a fundamental piece of technology that's undermining security of billions of people is deeply troubling. Intel seems to embrace security by obscurity, a strategy long rejected by experts and security researchers as fundamentally insecure. In fact, a number of serious vulnerabilities have come to the surface. Some of them are thought to be virtually unpatchable unless Intel gives users option to disable the management engine entirely. The ME's autonomous network interface opens an attack vector that could inject rootkits into a computer and take full control of the system. In May 2017, Intel confirmed a remote elevation of privilege bug which left every computer with an Intel CPU made between 2008 and 2017 vulnerable in some way to remote exploitation. Similar vulnerability inside Intel ME has been confirmed later that year and additional vulnerabilities with potential remote exploitation have been disclosed throughout last year. One security researcher even demonstrated an ME-based keystroke logging rootkit. The biggest problem with ME vulnerabilities is that it can't be fixed by standard updates of the main operating system, as patches have to be issued by device vendors themselves. This leaves hundreds of millions of Intel customers fundamentally vulnerable to attacks that would never be able to detect or deter. The management engine is seen as such a serious security risk that the NSA requested Intel to ship versions of their CPUs for the government with the ME completely disabled. This wasn't publicly disclosed by neither Intel nor the NSA. It was discovered by independent researchers looking for a method of disabling Intel ME. However, Intel doesn't support this option for end users and disabling ME on consumer systems could have damaging or destructive results. Some speculate that the NSA has ordered Intel to leave the management engine as a backdoor for the agency. Intel officially declines all such allegations, but since the Patriot Act, the US government can force US companies to collect user data, install backdoor and not release patches for security vulnerabilities so that the NSA can exploit and weaponize them. It wouldn't be the first time such a collusion happened. 
the NSA once ordered Microsoft not to fix a vulnerability in their Windows operating system, which the agency then exploited. A stockpile of the agency's cyber weapons was breached by a hacker group called Shadow Brokers and the weaponized Windows vulnerability was released to the public. Shortly after the leaks, WannaCry, one of the most infectious malware attacks in history, spread through the world, affecting 200,000 systems in 150 countries. The ransomware encrypted data on systems like MRI scanners and computers in hospitals, banks, factories, businesses, public transportation and telecommunication companies with estimated costs of up to $4 billion. Despite the fact the NSA had actually let Microsoft patch the vulnerability a month before the WannaCry attack happened, most people were not aware of it. Given the disclosed record of the NSA practices, it is very possible that the Intel management engine is a way for the government to gain access into every modern device in the world, irrespective of what precautions people take. Included in this secretive program is also alleged to be AMD, with its AMD Secure Technology subsystem that has similar functionalities to Intel ME. It doesn't matter whether you run Windows, macOS or Linux as your operating system. The Intel management engine operates at levels beyond the control of your software. Some companies don't like this overage from Intel and are fighting with the corporation to give users an option to disable it. Among them are Google, System76, Think Penguin, and Purism. The last three have been long providing great Linux laptops and have moved to eliminating the Intel management engine as much as possible with modern hardware. If you want a computer that's as close to having a full control over what you own, this is your best bet. But that still wouldn't solve the underlying issue of hundreds of millions of computers already in circulation that are potentially vulnerable to attacks never seen before. Intel has to come clean about what the management engine really does and provide a comprehensive documentation. This case also puts into question proprietary licensing of consumer software, whether companies should enjoy government protection to keep the code they run inside their customers' machines secret. The stakes might be too high to let them do so.